All right, welcome. This is my latest project. This is a sliding tube bagger or a volumetric bagger. Um, this is a new thing in the mushroom industry. This is pretty common. Uh, this is loosely based off of T.R. Davis's design uh, that he shared with me. So basically, it's a, it's a big measuring cup is what it is. It's a big tube that slides back and forth. Um, this is going to go on a batch mixer, so you're going to wet mix the material, and then this will go on the dump chute of the batch mixer. The substrate will fall into here, the sawdust substrate will fall into here, and then when you press the pedal, it'll drive this inch and a half cylinder forwards, and then it'll come out the dump chute where you're going to put your bag. Um, this was made out of all steel. If you're a welder, you can build one of these in about a day. Um, and then I have the front to where it opens up, so that way if you want to slide the carriage all the way out, uh, you can do so. So this works just like my other pneumatic components that I did, uh, like the dry bagger. And it's a five-way valve, so it all works off of one pedal. You just press the pedal down, and it slides forward. You let go of it, it goes back. So um, this is putting about 300 pounds of force on the carriage. So it's a lot of force. You want to make sure that you have a safety guard on it. This has the uh, expanded metal. Um, right now I'm working on getting these manufactured. This is kind of the beta version. This is going to Matt Larkin at Grand River Mushrooms out of Missouri. They're going to be attaching it to like a five or a six yard uh, batch mixer that they have. So this will go underneath that. They might even get an, another one under there too because it's such a big batch mixer they could probably use two baggers if you ask me. Um, so yeah, this is, this is the first version. I'm going to have additional versions after this that will be a little bit different. One thing that I learned from building this one was I shouldn't have done the expanded steel. I should have just done a plate because expanded steel, it's a kind of a pain in the butt to do all the little tack welds and everything. Um, it does look nice, but you really don't need to see through the sides. I'm going to have expanded metal on the front door of the next one, but not on the sides. Uh, one of the hardest parts, one of, well, two of the hardest parts was sourcing the, the eight inch cylinder. Eight inch pipes are hard to find, really hard to find. And then um, the other hard part was making sure that everything's square. So I think the next one I build, I'll make a jig for it to where it'll sit in the jig and then everything will weld up perfectly. This one, I just kind of used a flat plate squared everything off, tacked the corners, made sure everything was square, and then final welded everything. Um, so this one's made for the unicorn bags, like a 12, a 10 to 12 pound fill, depending on if you're using sawdust or pellets. So the pellets will be more like 12 or 13 pound fill. Uh, sawdust or like a, a fine mulch would be more like an eight to, to 10 pound fill. Um, I'm also working on designing it to where you can change the carriage out and the, the dump chute to where you can do a five pound unicorn bag, you know, the, the 14 A's. Uh, you could also fill spawn. You could also do the, what are they, I think they're four A's, I think they are, is the ones for like the, the grow kits, the little skinny tall ones. So in the future, hopefully, um, well, HT Davis will be making them. And that's a company that we're working with, me and TR are working with them. And they're making batch mixers. They've already been making batch mixers for a while. They're an industrial batch mixer company. And then um, well, they're making special versions for us with baggers on them. They're also making a roll through steam cabinet. They're also making my dry bagger um, that you saw in an old video a couple weeks ago, a couple months ago. Um, they're making a newer version of that. So I should have a video on that pretty soon. I'm actually in the process of having one built by them right now. Um, but yeah, hopefully they'll make this too. And uh, yeah, so that, that's the dry bag, or the, that's the, the volumetric bagger that I'm working on. And I'll, I'll update you guys as the, the versions get updated. This is definitely a beta version. You're not going to probably see. Uh, I'll make one more like this, and then after that, it's going to change. Not drastically, just little trims and tweaks here and there. So hopefully you like this. Um, check out MyersMushrooms.com. I got my t-shirts on there. I got some hoodies, t-shirts, and then also I got um, unicorn bags. I'm selling 14 A's and 3 T's, and hopefully expand to XLS's pretty soon, the extra large bags. Um, just got to build up an inventory for him. So, yeah, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Thanks to my Patreons and patrons and supporters on Patreon.com, and uh, keep on mushrooming. Take it easy.